<laughs> could do like a time lapse of this. <laughs> All right, we are back for day four of uh, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, last time we ended the stream, uh, we were having some issues with this game, so I'm hoping that it doesn't crash and everything like it was. Um, right there, that was just me forgetting to turn off my mouse without borders. So, fixing that again. But yeah, um, hopefully everything's good here. Because we'll try to make as much progress as we can. Um, so I guess the first thing we're going to do is go straight to John's mission. Oh, right. Last... It did that really weird thing last time where we were rounding up the sheep and then I lost control of my mouse and it was bugging out like crazy. Do you need something? So hopefully we can uh So feeling better? Do this. How's the scar? I'll let it play I this time. Fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now. Hold on, chat. I see that it's showing my... Why is it showing the taskbar? It'd be a full screen preview. There it goes. I want to make sure that that wasn't there the entire time. And let me just bump this back to again there we go maybe come on well where exactly are we going collect something help us get some sheep uh, you know that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting that might work for Dutch but for you it just makes you look stupid come along you'll see that train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was the prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Hi, uh, I already don't like how this is going. All right, boy. You stay right here. We'll be right back. Gun store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Beautiful. That works for me. Oh, yeah, we still got like $600. Let's go. Let's ride Come out. On, boy. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? Why? 
What are you doing back there? Dude, I'm spinning in circle. Why am I running the other way? It ain't that way? I'm literally not trying to go that way. Let's go. Jesus. So, you were saying? Me? Like the second you tap. I taking Jack on fishing trips. A or D. Oh. It turns right. left instantly if and stays that way. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl. What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. up there get a proper view this way, Arthur. so I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right but a couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale doubt the town will care to notice too much why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Right. Okay, I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in. You'll get the. Yep, that spooked them all right. All right, let's go round them up. Beautiful. Mount your horse. Boy, my horse is all dirty. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. I didn't realize my oh, day here my there, pistols. But not much. There we go. Volcanic, volcanic, good. Most cowboys I know were dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. I only brushed the horse one time and it looks like it was fine. After that, so I guess that's maybe it all it needs. Let's get them all rounded up. Uh, <laughs> right after I say that, now it's it's like, nope, you need Move more. It. Move it up. Okay, good. I'm hoping that this mission works out this time because this is a long mission too, or can be, potentially. Um, last time I lost control of my mouse and then all the textures weren't loading and it was just a complete mess. You know what? Marsh, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Easy. There you go. This route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Yeah. 
Hey, where do you think you're going? together keep them together go up the hill let's go up, up. Just running around them. Move out the dang way. That was the sheep. Like it. Come on. I forget why we we take over the responsibility of doing this. Beautiful. Those are up, boys. There you go. Is that Mike right, over there? They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. I mean, I guess Come that's not too bad. Auction. You'll get your money. Let's go, boy. Dutch is waiting for Let's us at go, the saloon. Boy. Yes? Boy. Watch it. Sorry, sorry. 18%. I thought we was doing the robin here. Oh my god. Still I pressed it one time. I pressed Thanks A for one all time. The help with this. Turn around. Shit. Can't hurt, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids. He did a no full more. 360. No, never really was. Sunshine, I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but after in the you, end, sir, I don't believe Browse. in absolutes, just shades of gray. Uh, gentlemen, Dutch, Lepo, where have you been? Working, Marston's thing. Good, and we're just waiting to get some pay. Um, a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well. I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out 
What the hell? Mandolin! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am Whoa. not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning the yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Why not? Like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Nor. Oh my God. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh man, I messed up. Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Nor do I. Go. We don't run, Mr. Stroud. Oh, God, God. The hit stops. Arthur, cover us. Now we'll push the wagon. Arthur, shoot someone. I'm trying. You're in the way. I just got pushed into the wagon. You can use it. You won't make it out. What are you doing? Get down of here. Sun's so bright. You're on the front line now, Mr. Strauss. Up Strauss. Oh God. Are you getting Strauss or not? Or you... I'm working on it. Go, go, go. A quiet drink. I get shot. Now's our chance. Come on. Put Strauss on the back of John's horse and let's get out of here. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> yeah. hey. Let's go, let's go. Yep.
Uh, so I saw that there's settings for this. Uh, is it camera? Controls. Keyboard and mouse. Right here. Force relative. There we go. It's all that. I think that's what changes it. We should be able to just keep it moving here and get away from them. Let me feed the horse something. got out of there sketchy but we made it all right let's do some fast traveling back to the camp there's activity nearby oh because of the yeah. am I too close to the edge here god tree left alone all right the sentiment i'm familiar with fair enough kid lily may lily may you think you're so great strutting around nose in the air holding hands with that dumb come on kid you care about this girl? Stand up for yourself. She'll come around. Yeah? I've been waiting. Is that it? <laughs> Is that all we say? Trust me, kid. Okay. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right. What now? You wait, Lily May. Well, someday, I'll show you. I'll be rich. A nice big house. You'll be begging me to court you. He's 
trying. Uh, oh, we may. Oh, maybe I'll just stay here forever. Waste away like some fallen leaf. Crinkle up. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Anything else? Can't loop around here all day. I guess he's done. Okay. Uh, how far are we from the camp? Okay, we're pretty close. We can probably just follow this, I guess. I'll just use cinematic mode, taking us back. So a lot just went down over in uh, Valentine with uh, Cornwell, I think his name was. I think we're probably, uh, I'm pretty sure i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm pretty sure that might be like the close to chapter two and soon be starting chapter three and moving to a new camp so that'll be nice too um we also have the money for doing an upgrade and stuff so we might try to do the the final parts of the uh the camp upgrades since we're just about here and then yeah it did that thing where when you click on the map it makes a marker somewhere completely different i don't know why it does that that horse is still here i really don't know where this horse came from one of these days i'll take it to the staple or, or something East. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? So, we moving? Yeah. We stop when we find someplace sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, this can wait. Come on up, we gotta go. Sorry about the chat. I was opening the door. Remove this fake marker that I made. I thought you meant now, Arthur. Where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to, and fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, Where is he going? Killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. 
Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure. Are we going the right way? No, we're not even going the right way. Where the heck are we going? Sure, it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him one to head out. Hey, wait up! Why are you riding off on me? So like you were saying before. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And... There ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. Slow it down. Funny when they go around corners and stuff, they take it so slow, and all of a sudden they speed it back so where does up it again. End? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkerton. Better paid bounty hunters. I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads has got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Yeah, I did. Looks like trouble got here before us. Damn, they've been dead for a while. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. You see there? Tents and a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us coming. Why they get up Be and careful. leave? I'm being careful. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. It's okay. It's okay. Come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? 
It's German. No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Okay, boy. How to? There. Me untoggle this. Try. See if I can uh, brush nice. off the horse real quick. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't Watch know out. me as well as you think you do. Hey. So, what happened with those Pinkertons I'm not even anyway? doing that. I'm just holding you were shift with Jack, to follow him. Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. They picked the wrong man there. Careful. We should have moved right Careful, then, geez. if you asked me. Bastards told me they'd killed Mac. He said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Whoa, whoa! John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young, a long while. A year or more. He did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Whoa! Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Easy. It's a big area. So where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. <laughs> this looks like our feather, Charles. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Falle, Vorsicht! Take cover! I see three coming this way. You get the help away from here. I'm trying to right click. I can't. Okay, I'm getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Pick up all the loot. Give me some watches. Give me some trinkets. Nice.
above that stuff. Nice. One more. Right here. Beautiful. Take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Ja. Oh God. Where are you going, Arthur? Go. Ja. There he goes. Back on the trail. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? The hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there. Why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look. <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Make sure that's actually toggled for the right area it is. Want to make sure that it's not toggled for like super far away like it does sometimes. Ah, making some good progress though. Already we've already gotten like two missions done. That's not too bad. Um, in other news, as we're traveling back, uh, I saw Neverwinter had a huge update. I mean, it, not a huge, but it revamped a lot of their leveling system and stuff. Um, I was actually playing that game about a few months ago, and I was afraid of the grind up to level 80. Well, now they bumped everything down to level 20 and revamped the entire Schatz. level system. Oh. 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 Beinahe wär's so gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. <laughs> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Bam alles klar. Bam uh, ich hab was für Sie. Ein Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank. Herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja. <laughs> Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Chapter three. Oh, that got really loud for a second.
few days later. Keep saying that Bill has a reward for me. Nice. Chapter two complete. You've unlocked the bandit challenge. We hit save here. Uh, unable to manually save. Acquired a gold ingot. It can be sold at any fence for a large profit. We will definitely have to take that. Uh, but yeah, so never winter. Completely different. But since I brought it up, different game and everything, of course. Um, but they changed the level system from 80 levels down to 20, and they changed the experience points. So instead of just gaining XP, there's like six chapters. And every time you complete a chapter, you it bumps you up levels. So uh, I think I'll probably check it out at some point. You really are very it's more story man, focused now. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. And then also when you finish the game or when you get to level 20, which is a lot easier now. Um all of the end game content opens up. So that's a, another pretty cool thing for it. All right, what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to have Arthur eat some real quick um do we have the where is the ledger usually right outside of what's his face this place morning arthur grab some coffee oh she took it Okay, still taking it. I take some now. There we the ledger oh it's on the other side of this thing i'm like looking for it here we go right here uh let's do the ledger because it, it takes money out of your thing anyways wow one whole dollar people are really donating here huh. uh let's do the horse station that way that's done call your main horse to the camp or access stable quickly nice I, I think that was the most expensive upgrade too next um and nutrition to all camp stews dead eye boost when consuming stew oh there's also this one the fishing boat chicken coop and do that one too so now this too gives us a bonus as well yeah, in a second Oof, that's the most expensive one we could finish that one too though onyx refills Higher quality, premium canned goods. Let's do this one too. The overall mood of the camp has improved. And that's all we can do, because that's everything. Now we need to hit up a fence and sell some stuff. But we can do that in a few minutes here. Um, all right, hold on for just a bit chat. I'm gonna take a quick break uh, And then we shall continue so save uh, Sure that one should be okay All right, I will be back in just a little bit here 
All right, chat. I am back here, so let's go ahead and uh, continue. So we just updated the camp a good amount. Who is this? Or a Rabba homestead? Go hunting. What you sure. prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Mm. Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw what? a couple a long way off. Oh. Yeah. Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Rachel just said that Arthur Morgan up, looks Let's like go. Chris Evans. That does not look like Chris Evans. Okay, I can see that, I guess. Yeah. This is Arthur Morgan. You know, it was That's before how my look. time, of course, but you know how old, my how old do you think he is? Of how a tribe moved with the bison. Pretty close. They lived like almost 36. as one. When the bison went, my people went. Supposedly. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. So, where are we headed? Back up to the Heartlands. Okay. Feels like there's been so much noise and chaos recently. Would you mind if we just rode and enjoyed the silence for once? I need to clear my mind. Sure, fine by me. Shit! God, <laughs> it's auto driving, so it's a little sketchy. I actually like the outfit that uh, Arthur's wearing. So I, I took off the jacket, but it, it looks pretty good, I think. I like the vest piece, how it's like black on the back and red on the front. And the pants are cool too. I thought there was a way that you could like fast travel in a way. Not fast travel. But um like if you're traveling with somebody else, you can press and hold. Like cinematic menu or view camera. And it'll just like fast forward. I guess not. I don't I don't know if I remember that properly. Oh, um, so as we're traveling, I guess there was another game that I was thinking about checking out tonight, but I decided not to because I, I want to wait until I guess Black Panther. Um, but they, the update for Marvel's Avengers came out today, um, for the OLT, the Omega level threats. Uh, some out. people like Let's it, some people are like, eh, it's too easy. Some people are like, eh, uh, my teammates can't communicate. Some people are like, it keeps crashing on me. Oh, and for quite a while, there's no loot dropping, apparently. So they said that they fixed it now, but everyone is just like, it's all over the place. So I was like, I'm not even gonna bother right this second. Um, 
I was going to try to see how the matchmaking is because now you can play as any combo of characters together um, to hopefully ease matchmaking and things like that. But like I said, I'm not not sure. So I decided not to to check it out right this second over there. Um, you see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should so. only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Yeah. I hope that that game does better someday, though. I really hope so. Use a rifle for a clean kill. Not a repeater. It's a varmint rifle. Damn it! had to take a lot of shots at it take the horn too it can all be used american bison won't take long boy Oh my god. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Can you throw things into your horse cargo? Really that Where one came out bad. I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Sorry, boy. There you go. Eat up. What the heck? No. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow him. All right. Lead the way. God damn it! Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. New horse bonding. Look, another dead bison to our left there. Come the on. heck? What? Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Messed up, man. They're just killing them. since they left bison's been dead about the same amount of time so what do you want to do they could still be in the area let's get up higher see if we spot anything which way this way we should have a good view from up here we'll okay. make sure that they uh you see anything arthur look smoke to the north yep could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Follow Charles.
Speed the way. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? <laughs> Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you <laughs> killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, <gasps> tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and to make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, oh, please. Don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right. I'll get out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Oh my god, his head is gone. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Is that a card right there? First survivor. Box, box. Come on, give me something good. Some cash. Poison throwing knife pamphlet. Pamphlet. Ooh. Rest by fire. <laughs> Just a dead man nearby. All right, I think we're good here. Get out of here. What? Boy. Yeah. All right, boy. Let's go home. Um, let me see. Actually, we have mail over there. And here, let's go over to Emerald's Branch. There's also a fence there, so we can sell our items and stuff. Uh, let me make sure that I toggled the correct thing. Yes. I need to make sure I do that each time. There's two horses chilling out in the open. Such a beautiful game. Like, just look at that in the distance. Every time. Every time. office right here pull up welcome back to just um hang our bounty Happy to if help so you we don't have enough just yet 
<laughs> yeah, let me uh, run over to the fence and sell first. I think Dutch has two two missions for us. Bounty. <laughs> oh, that was pretty sick. Drifting the horse like that. <laughs> ah, I recognize that face. Go on, right, have yourself a quick nosy. All right. So all. Three hundred dollars. You're back. All right, take a look. So you can Looking we craft anything? I together, don't think huh? we can, but yeah. Thanks, Mister. All right, let's go pay off our bounty now. Wolf. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, hello again. I'm glad you're doing the right thing. I ain't here to judge no man. That is God's work. You have a good one. Hey, there boy. we go. No more bounty. Yeah. Okay, let's try setting up camp. Whoa. You cannot set up camp while there is activity nearby. Okay. Every time. Huh. Yep. You have to like go out further. Hey, Kiar. No, what is it now? Easy there. Oh man, it was a three star. Now it's a one. Okay, fella. See if I can yeah. get another one. Any of these? Three star now. It's like it's about the storm. The wind's picking up. Oh, there we go. Right there. How do we get this? A long scope rifle for a clean kill. Oh, wait, stop. Should be a clean one right there. Easy. Beautiful. The only thing is, I don't know if we can take both of these. Still? Oh, maybe we can. Oh, sweet. We actually can. 
Hey, friend. Hey, friend. Get out. Yep. Boy. What kind of bird is this? Wild turkey. Varmint rifle. Can we stow it? We can. <laughs> I don't know how much more room we have. We have about to bring so many things back. swimming why oh my god dude this one better be a three star it is use a rifle for a clean kill I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Damn it. That wasn't a clean kill. Oh man. Skin it. Even if I keep the pelt, that's fine. Boy. Yeah, let's see if yep. we can find one more. Turkeys. We needed the headshot, not the shot in the butt, and then another headshot. Messed up the pelt. Hey, mister. Whole lot of country for you to linger in. This here pack is mine. Okay, okay, yeah. jeez. some right there what is that uh, just wild horses <laughs> oil twitch bot always coming in I don't understand hey boy the dog is wild dog oh my god He's all wet. He keeps shaking off. Hello, boy.
Come back with me. Come back to the uh, place. He doesn't have a collar or anything. He's just gonna keep standing there. Let's go, boy. Wait, why does that horse keep falling over? What the heck? Wait, so that horse is alive? Uh, so we need to go all the way back to our camp, which is all the way down there. Let's see if I can set up a camp now. I don't know if I'm too close to the town. There we go. And I'm going to try and take all these back to our camp and then donate them to the guy. Fast travel. Lemons point. I think that's it. Where's the food? Wait, where's the food area? Sadie. Soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand. Lee. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? Oh, no, so I can't donate the stuff I graduated from shopping vegetables first. to shopping. Shut Hold your on. goddamn mouth. Wait, what if I wanted to donate my stuff first? Wait, let me do this real quick.
Wait, really? Pearson! He won't let me donate! <laughs> I have stuff on my horse. I have a bison. I have things that need to be sold. Or used. Oh my god. It better not deteriorate. They're perfect grade besides the bison. You cool down then yet? I guess. I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look, we're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <sighs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. This town, I forgot about this one. I think this is where my uh, Red Dead Redemption Online character is at. Dude, I remember I okay. logged in like forever ago for a so, day. What's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No, are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. All right. Sent our mail out. I've birthed foals with more strength than you. My sister's newborn had more strength than you, and he came out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. Good. A 
think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie, not Lady. I know. Yeah. So, yeah. you get everything? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. And some yeah. new clothes, hey. I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know. I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... Uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You need you. to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go! Go, go, go! God damn it! Get moving now! Whoa! Wait, am I using a varmint rifle? No pair of pants. Think you're landing rickets. Oh, shut up. I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down. Yeah. Well, you wanted to see some action? Lady, now you've got your wish. here why because you've caused enough trouble already i'm fine job we showed those bastards huh remind me not to get on your bad side and they was clearly planning to bushwhack us you did good but that's a lot of mess to make near camp hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around are you gonna tell dutch maybe if he asks but maybe not. Careful. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post. Anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of boggles. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, 
They say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. All right, let's see if we can donate that stuff Don't now. Have to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pierce. I'm working on it. Here you go. Well, the quality's a bit lacking. We won't get much. Oh, thank you for getting me that Paul Mike. Okay. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve things around here. If you want to take a look. Beaver, elk, and panther. I was thinking, even if I die, at least I won't have to spend uh, more no more. Oh, I like that. Keep my eye out for some yes. good material. Uh, I'll remember that one. You know, Miss, I've killed girls as betrayed us. I've never heard of it. Are you afraid of betrayal in your world, Miss you Grimshaw? It's not squeezing, Miss. Wait, where did Bill go? Mr. Morgan. Oh, he's right there. I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. How Thank you? you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. You all right, Bill? Can't believe we're running away from Cornwall. What's happened to us? It was time to move. Play dominoes with Tilly. I heard what you said about me. What? I said I heard what you said about me. Did you? Okay. I don't think it's very fair. Okay, good for you. <laughs> you know, you're not so high and mighty and above everyone than you think you are. Whatever you say. He bloody well loves me, do you know? He bloody well does. Of course. Of course he does. What exactly are we talking about? There he is, the man who saved my hide not once, but twice. What you want, Micah? Nothing. Just saying thank you, brother. I can't call you brother, can't I? I think I like you even less when you're friendly. You're the first person ever told me that. Mm. All right, I think we are good. You must be nervous being this close to the water. Oh, don't you start. <laughs> I'm just looking out for you. New Sal. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We? are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of thick. Come on down 
Tommy, why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long over, Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble burst at you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fish. Whoops. What are you doing? <laughs> Giving him a little push. I Why guess. You you. Okay, go. <laughs> Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there. Oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived. How well we have fought. Especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching. But I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Easy. Gentlemen, well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of <laughs> bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No! Did I not say that? You said plenty! Goddamn cowards hide behind that man! Woo! Ah. 
idiot. <laughs> now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Yep. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Uh, you cop bastard! I didn't do nothing! Uh, uh, go to hell! Get the hell off! Run! Don't let them get away! Running ain't gonna help! Go, go, go! Stop. Come on, shit bag. Come on, Mr. Callahan. I'm relying on you. Bastard. Damn bastard. Get the hell away from me. You're gonna be dead soon. I'm gonna see you die here. Hit like a child. How did that feel? Go on, don't lose him. Stop. Ah. Right there. I'm coming for you. You stop next. right now. Right ahead and stop the train. Ah, you won't. It's just you us are then, lawman. Come here. Lawman. We need to bother. Let me go. Can't do that. Let's make this quick. Uh, Just don't kill him. Uh, Are you sure? Uh, I don't think I can open the door uh, from the outside. Uh, uh, Please hit me. Uh, uh, come on. Come on. I'm right uh, me. Hello? Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. Bring him out here. Deputy. It sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? You take him in. Come on. Fine job, well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir, I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Dutch has here asked for Welcome people to not Rhodes. to use weapons or cause Up trouble there on in your the left roots. is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. 
We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Just no problem. Bring him here. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo? These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying Arthur that's all. Jose you start poking around see what you can find out about that I have missed you boys I've heard about bounty well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years it'll take a month to find us down here and it seems like we can have a little sport well they're good bounties where you hear this some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles there was talk of super agents or some such. super agents <laughs> I'd love to meet one it's just talk I'm sure it is but I couldn't not tell you stay out of trouble thank you gentlemen Nice. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure. Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? Kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Gentlemen, follow me. All right, lead the way. So, how far is this creek? Watch out, it's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. I'm gonna run this while we're traveling. Just there. a different pipe, it'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Or Thor. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? 
apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Greg? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. This is the spot. Down to the left there. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. Yep. You remember if I'm I, sure if I did this before? Or one of these. Not. Come on. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. <coughs> Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Keep going. Did I miss it? Oh my god, I did. I didn't even realize. Oh, we got tons of big fish here. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Are you trying to make your lure look like a dead fish? They won't be interested if it ain't moving. Arthur's got a bite. It's 
Something's nibbling. There we go. Ah, I should have had that one. Now reel him in, Arthur. That feels like a bite. Got one! Shit! Got away. They're nibbling. They're hooked them. Good job, Arthur. Got one. Got one. Not bad. <laughs> what the heck? Keeping that one, eh? Got one. Hey, Jose, you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, you do. He was maybe 20. 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, Well, Felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Fish on the line, Arthur. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. <laughs> hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckons. <laughs> I would like to see that. Ha! Got ya! Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she me in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Almost. Just about got it. Not bad, Arthur. Yeah, where's all their stuff? Eh? Yeah, that's a keeper. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh... 
All right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burnt and so did I. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us, three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners who we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we? Men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men that do our states maintain. <laughs> to them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy come pledge me on this ground of ground of ground. There they know, are. We should not let the folks back camp think that we have too much fun. Indeed not. <laughs> All right. I think. Reboot? I. Well, I mean, we are going to be okay. I know. Well, Arthur looks so dirty. I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well. I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Nice. Arthur! Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just, a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. <sighs> Oh, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. <laughs> well, I should get back to it. Yeah, right. what's going on, says. I mean, uh, Connor McGregor. Or I mean, oh wait, you mean my character? Look what I've got. Fish. Yeah, so. Mr. Matthews. You should have been Pretty much. I can see it, dude. He's dirty as hell right now. <laughs> we need to take a bath or something pretty bad. Unless, oh wait, does going in the water clean you? Let's go find out. Go for a swim. Does that clean you off? I think so, but it's been so long. It looks like it does. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. His forehead kind of looks a little dirty still, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Energy. We're going to drown.
Oh no. Dude, get back, get back, get back. Swim back to the shore, Arthur. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my oh yeah true an alligator oh my god that was pretty bad that was really bad right there we almost got in trouble <laughs> death by bath <laughs> let me see i mean it looks like he might be clean How to clean yourself. Uh, take a dip in a river or stream or take a bath at a hotel. A premium bath may also be purchased where a maid will come in and scrub Arthur for more relaxing time. Okay. So yeah, jumping into the water seems to do it apparently. What time is it in the game? Uh, 8 p.m. Yeah, that was sketchy. That was a little bit closer than... <laughs> Buy it. Next time we're in a city, I will. I did take one like early. Mr. Morgan. Oh God, what is he doing now? Do you think the Pinkertons are finally gonna kill us? <sighs> Perhaps. I'm so worried. Just maybe. Good evening. Good evening. I know the feeling. Alright, where is Arthur's bed? Ooh, actually. I think we're good right now. And we can go rob a homestead with our boy, Sean. Let's do it. Your people, uh, Jacobites, are English lovers, are they? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even oh. us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. <laughs> Literally. I was riding around. I can see that. Back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was. Shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason. Arthur's a bulky right, dude. Be a big haul for us. I saw three of them. Well, at least more, in my, but I reckon my you case, and me, he is. you could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's just go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Wait, I want to see a picture of skinny versus fat Arthur. Roy, follow me. Huh. He can actually get pretty big. That's funny. Sorry, sorry. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride. Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around playing. Hopefully get I mean, some good money no and like some, uh, Dutch knows my value maybe a new weapon. Cause. That's from the moment I met him. Look out. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, 
Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds? Supplies and the like? <laughs> in fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay you anyway. <laughs> don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head, but you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. I love just listening wrong. to their conversation sometimes. How far is it now? Not too much for her. Better it's be been so it. nice just like hey, taking my good old this, time Arthur. during this playthrough. Right. I'll have to wait. I can't wait there. to do more of the uh, stranger up. missions too. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Up here, Morgan. Yeah. Pulls it out, pulls, puts it directly back in. Let's leave the horses here and go to rest on foot. I don't want them to hear us coming. Here. I just want the intention and detail they did with this game in the GTA game. Oh, tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Please. I would love that. I, I really hope that, like, I mean, if it takes them a few more years, I just hope that it's quality like this look there's one of them outside this is good it is leave it to me i'll do the talking you hang back I don't know how there. close he wants me to get. Oh. Oh. Now I'm gonna give you about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big pop the alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Heads up, Arthur. Damn. Here come the rest of them. Watch it. They're coming. You'll tell me where that money stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Go. Get out of here and never come back. 
The homeowner has revealed a secret stash spot to you. You'll often find it. So, here we are. You got some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Nice. Nice. Told you we take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Go this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. Don't you mind right. me. He said the stash was behind me. a loose board in the bedroom. I honestly would love a, a GTA game where they had like minor survival things like this too. Like having Fine to go out and yet. eat like welcome, do we? Um being able to like customize your house hey, fully. It's over there. Uh what else? Uh full like full on hunting aspect to it. I got a double action revolver. Nice. What kind of modern stuff could they add? I mean, honestly, everything that they really added in uh in GTA Online, there's no reason why a lot of that couldn't be in a single player like game. It. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. You never know what folks got stashed. Twenty dollars. <laughs> other places out there like this. And the weather often be lucrative opportunities found at homesteads, and the method to make the off with the highest amount of money won't last forever. Damn, man. How does this gun compare to this one? Oh, the damage is like almost horrible. But I know this one is a little bit slower too. Come on, pal. Um, oh, you have a stranger mission right here. Yep. Let's try running this. Okay, there. Right there. Oh, this is a pretty pickle. What the Hello. devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined? How so? It's a disaster. He's British, of who course. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? <laughs> Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? <laughs> My animals, they escaped. And now I'm, I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. 
Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonnet Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret. Okay. Mistress of fucking danger. Sounds like a plan. There's actually one right here. This the Greys. This is Dutch. What's Dutch's mission? Go to the back and see him sometime. American distillation. Got it. Um, chat, I think I'm going to chill here for today. Uh, because it's already just about 930, which is the time that I should be getting off anyways. So, um, as always, thank you for everyone that stopped by. Uh, tomorrow night, I don't think I'll be on, but Thursday, I'll probably be on for like my last stream for about a week. Um, and yeah, so we'll probably just keep playing some more of this, um, Thursday night and then come back next week and, and keep playing again. So I'm going to try to do YouTube and everything and let that stuff go up as I'm away. So that way there's still like something going out, but that's all like previous streams and stuff. So for now, I appreciate it as always. Thank you everyone for hanging out. Thank you for chatting Twitter, uh, which Facebook, Instagram, Discord. That is where I will be at in the meantime. Other than that, thank you for hanging out. Appreciate it. Have a good one, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, and have a good night. Peace.